welcome back to the quick LO206 playlist. Again, my name's Austin Kaiser, and I'm just a normal guy. I'm new to LO206 go-karting, but I'm here to hopefully help you quickly navigate your karting journey as well. Now today, we're gonna be talking about what the LO206 engine even is in its basic form, and I mean the basics. Now, if you're wondering how I landed on the LO206 engine, um, and some reasons why you should too, be sure to head back to episode one of this playlist on the quick LO206 playlist, and we'll talk through a couple of those points. So the first thing is, is that the LO206 engine is made only by Briggs & Stratton. Uh, this is important because it contributes to the, the highly standardized class that it is. The reason it's called the LO206 is because it's a 206cc engine, uh, which translates into about nine horsepower. Uh, when uh, sticking that on a go-kart means you're going up to about 60 miles an hour. The next thing to know about the LO206 engine is that it's a four-stroke engine. Now, you might be asking the question, well, what's the difference between a four-stroke engine and a two-stroke engine? That is a great question. I asked the same thing. The main difference is a four-stroke engine goes through four different stages to produce essentially one uh, rotation of the engine to produce the power. Uh, conversely, a two-stroke engine only has to go through two rotations to produce the power. What that leads to is a four-stroke um, takes a little bit longer. It means it's a little bit heavier, uh, and it doesn't really pack the punch in the same way that a two-stroke engine does. However, for the purposes of, of this class, that's part of what is appealing to me, and I hope appealing to you as well, is because ultimately it means it's a little bit safer, right? The top speed's not as much and then contributing from the maintenance side of things back to the first point, uh, a little bit more standardized, uh, which makes it hopefully a little bit easier for you and for me to work on it and, and to maintain it. The final point I wanna hit on as it relates to the basics of the LO206 engine is that in order for it to be race legal, there has to be a factory seal present on it on both sides of the engine that prevent tampering of the engine block. This is, that, this is the critical to this engine being um, race legal and, and for knowing that it's a, an LO206 engine that you can take out and race. Now, uh, we'll get into this a little bit more kind of throughout this series, uh, but what this does, what the SEAL does, is this ensures that uh, driving skill and chassis setup are much more the determining factors of the outcome of a race rather than my ability and your ability to work on an engine and help it perform better. Uh, so again, that I mean from a maintenance standpoint, this is this is kind of that key aspect that really appealed to me as it related to engine maintenance and engine performance because this really shrinks down what you are able to work on an engine. So that's it. That's the basics of the Briggs and Stratton LO206 engine, uh, 206cc, about 60 miles an hour, four-stroke engine uh, with a sealed engine block. Boom, there's the top four things that you need to know. Uh, so I hope that this proved helpful for you um, and, and be sure to continue to follow along on this playlist to make sure that you can quickly get the information that you need to start your karting journey. So be sure to subscribe to this channel, Kai's the Carter. Make sure to like this video, post any questions in there, uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good day.